Hey everybody, Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast. Thank you so much for checking out another brand new episode. Today's features my arch nemesis, rival podcaster, musician, singer-songwriter, Matt F. Bosler. I uh, had a uh, recorded this one via Zoom with Matt and his spiritual advisor, Dylan Club and talk about what Matt's been up to. Uh, we talk about the feud, obviously. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoy this one. Uh, you can find all things Matt F. Bosler at his brand new website, mattfbosler.com. You can find links to the podcast, to his music, and uh, be sure to follow along with him on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the things. Uh, big thank you to my friends over at Roughneck Beard Company and American Rambler for their continued support. You know, growing a big old beard is a surefire way to keep warm this winter, and there's no better way to grow it out than with Roughneck Beard Company's full line of beard grooming products. Beat the itch, soften, and set the stage for a faster and fuller growth. And you can do all that while saving 15% with my code RPP15 at checkout. You can you can find it all at roughneckbeardcompany.com. And uh, again, use that code RPP15 for 15% off all your favorite beard oils, beard balms, junk powder. Uh, they're, uh, they've got all sorts of different... Fragrances, whatever you're into, you probably got the perfect product there for you. Uh, you can get your combs, you can get all sorts of products. And uh, if you uh, are in the St. Louis area, you can stop in and pick them up locally right here in Maplewood, Missouri. So check it all out, roughneckbeardcompany.com today. Also, big thank you to my friends over at Friendship Brewing Company here in Wentzville, Missouri. Uh, serving up all sorts of tasty craft beers and uh, all kinds of good food too. You uh, you can stop in and get some uh, sandwiches, some some nachos. You got uh, over twenty five beers on tap. They got all sorts of different rotating beers through there. And uh, also, uh, they recently launched a new beer in honor of our uh, fallen soldier soldier Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. Um, and, uh, all the proceeds of that particular beer go to support his foundation. Uh, so please go out there and, uh, check out friendship brewing company. You know, as it gets warmer, you can hang out on the patio. They got a whole lot of, uh, space there on the patio and it's always a good time at friendship brewing company. Check them out online at friendship brewing company.com. Be sure to get plugged in with them also on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, then, uh, if you want to continue to support this show, another great way to do so would be check out the merch at by Jack B Y J A C K dot com slash rock paper podcast. And you can pick up a little shiny shirt, a uh, trucker hat, some tank tops, you know, if you want to get ready for the summer and all kinds of stuff over there. So thank you to everybody that's bought all those already. I mean, it means the world to me that, uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you need me, you can always find me at rockpaperpodcast.com. Hit me up on the socials. Feel free to email me at rockpaperpodcast at gmail.com. And with all that out of the way, sit back, relax, and enjoy this brand new episode with Matt F. Bosler. Um, the podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's also like my mom. Uh, it makes it sound more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like this. Rock paper podcast. Scissors beat paper, paper covers rock. Rock beat scissors, Shane covers nonstop. Never know what new kind of guests that he's got coming at you. Live and direct on the spot could be rock, folk, country, or hip hop, jazz. All kind of folks that he has could be an artist or a comedian to make you laugh on the. Rock. 
double decker fudge round, rolling round town. Shane coming at you live and direct from ground zero. He's your hero, he's your bestie. Rock paper podcast with Shane Presley. I don't know, Shane. It's your podcast, man. <laughs> You're in the driver's seat, baby. I'm just trying to make sure I properly uh, get all the stuff I, out there. I, I just thought this was professionals in the same field just getting together just to hang and chat. I didn't know that this had to be some sort of specific. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was doing rock paper podcast wrong. Right. I mean, uh, Dylan, you know. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You're here, Dylan. I'm already getting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just uh, 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 relax. <laughs> Thank you. Chakras or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah, something about a chakra. Maybe, maybe uh, channel some feelings. Save it for the podcast. Inner peace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you don't have many, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what happens here. Hey, everybody. Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast, coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri, hanging out via Zoom with Matt F. Bosler. Hello. Welcome back to the show, Matt. It's good to be here, Shane. Thank you. And, and can you- I can I say that I'm... I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily coming to people from St. Louis, Missouri, Missouri. I feel like I'm more a citizen of the world. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. So I don't like to think so geographically specific. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everybody. Shane Presley here. Rock Paper Podcast coming to you from an undisclosed location. The world. In the world. The the whole world. It's all of it. Because we're... It's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hanging out today with Matt F. Bossler. Welcome back to the show, Matt. So good to be back, Shane. Um, I feel like I'm in a much better place than I was last week Mm -hmm. when you were on our podcast. Yeah, that was a good um, time. I think I've learned a lot since then. Well, and, uh, you know, I think I partially have you to thank for that. Well, um, I'm glad to hear it. Mm. You know, I think that's what we we need to do. You know, we need to grow and become better people every day. And if we can help make each other better, then that's... Uh, and Shane, sounds, yeah. Can I ask, do you mind if I bring someone on the call? I would love that. Uh, what, who, what do you have in mind? Well, I just so I, I talked about uh, this on on Matt F. Bosler's podcast, my podcast. I told the whole story um, <clears throat> of how you disrespected me. Basically, spit in my face. Basically, were bad and terrible to me. Right. And and I had something of a breakdown, an anger breakdown, mental breakdown, physical breakdown, lost control of my muscles, um, sphincter and otherwise, uh, urethral, pissing, shitting, and. Uh, same time yeah same time um uh alternating kind of just every way that it could happen just out of anger just out of you know how when you get so mad you just start emptying and so uh you remember my lawyer sure yeah um well he uh, i i i he has he has ascended he's he's gone on to different um well, he's barred from practicing law ever again. And um, 
and he and he but but I, I went to him for help and, and he said that he would love to take me on as a spiritual advisor. And if I could just add, add bring him in, he, he's not a guest. You don't have to talk to him. You don't have to interact with him, but just here for me to center me, to make me to make sure I don't ruin this. That that would be that would I would appreciate that. Yeah, that sounds okay. great. OK. Uh, and so and this is, uh, you know, you know, him. it's as uh, Dylan, my spiritual advisor. He'll just say hi. And then that's it. And he's not even here. Hello, I'm here. Well, but he's well, but I'm not here. Right. I'm well, here for you, Matt, but I'm not here. And who is right? As you were telling. And, me. and that's what I would say. And no one is here. Yeah. But yet we all are here, there and everywhere. Mm-hmm. I you need my love to be here. Yeah. When you said that to me, I was like. I'm getting it. I'm actually getting it. Yeah. Every day of the year. So many good sayings like that, Shane, that I think even like you could benefit from, even you could wrap your head around. Right. Yeah. Like I'll tell them like just turn off your mind, relax, and float downstream. Come on, man. Like, isn't that just like, like blowing your mind up? Yeah. I just pissed and shit right now. I'm just thinking about <laughs> yes. <that. laughs> Yeah, there's different yeah. and and uh, hopefully not an anger. No, no, no. Of course not. Yeah, just blew, I mean, like it blew my mind so much that I just couldn't blew control your ass. it anymore. Yeah, open your mind, open your ass. Yeah, they, it's important to open from both ends. I think so. Mm-hmm. That's what I tell you, man. Yep. yep. Man, already like I mean, we're like a couple minutes into this call, and I'm already you know feeling it. So it's worth every penny. I tell you yeah. what. Yeah. Uh, well, I think what we you were kind of uh, alluding to earlier, and I, I I think it was the topic had been discussed on on a um, most current episode of yeah. Matt F. Bosler's podcast. Yeah, I, re- we, I regret it. I we we had some issues. Uh, I regret the way I spoke about it. Right. Certainly. Yeah. But we we've uh, we had some issues scheduling. And, uh, you know, there was a way to put it. Sure. There was some, there was some names called, right. Some things set out of anger, snooze, press sleep. I did call you that. I did title the episode that, Um, that was, but that, but Shane, and let me just say that was yesterday. Right. Mm -hmm. All his troubles seemed so far away. (sighs) Did you just come up with that? Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I do incredible this guy worth every penny and i mean and, and that's it's every penny uh mm-hmm. you, you have to get rid of worldly things yes such as money surrender and, them to me so you send him a screenshot of your bank account he knows how much is in there and you just empty that thing there's a lot of emptying you know that's a mm-hmm. thematic it's important it's important for you start- spiritually so I have sent I've sent Dylan all my money and I and like I said that was what do you like uh, twenty six hours ago mm-hmm. something like that yeah and how do you feel are, amazing amazing yeah. so good I, I thought about deleting the episode but then I was like I'm not even that's not even me anymore yeah. <laughs> you know let Matt delete that from old 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 Matt yeah mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, already so much growth in the 26 hours and, uh, we're, we're here to like start a new chapter. I feel like agreed. Yeah. yeah. This, uh, so it's very exciting, you know, I'm thinking that how much is we've, we've already changed in 2022 is going to be a great year. We're off to a good start except for the mess. We made up emptying everything pants and no, stuff. Okay. Right. I'm off to a great start. I just bought a new car within the past 26 hours. Things have been going great for nice. me. What kind of car do you, uh, oh, you just a, 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 a 2022 carne asada fully loaded? That's interesting. Yeah. Because you told me that my car, mm-hmm. uh, you said that that's just a a box it's like almost like a metal coffin yeah and to sell that Mm -hmm. yeah you need to rid yourself of all earthly possessions yeah Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then I did sell that. And then I did give you the money. Right. Yes. And I'm proud of you for that, man. Thanks, man. All right. Yeah. yeah he told you, he's like, you go, never go, give go. me your money, you know? And I was like, he's, that's true. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I gave him, I did give him the money. I did give him um, Calvin and Hobbes comic strip. Right. The funny right. papers. <laughs> he gave me uh his funny papers right? yeah because <laughs> that's what he need that's what he told me i never do that yeah i told him like, that never and, and what a moment for me what an eye-opening moment of like holy shit he's right mm-hmm. so, so so you know now he gives me his invitations it's great what else is in the news uh, uh yeah uh what else is there uh i do uh i do find it interesting that dylan you know practice law and being a spiritual advisor i mean like mm-hmm. he, he's a regular uh brad bradshaw over there like uh you know does it all like lawyer doctor yeah uh you know many, many well, i haven't been a doctor yet right but yeah, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Don't give away the next appearance, Shane. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens. I was disbarred, and um, and it's fine. There was a misunderstanding. Yeah, but please, I'd love to hear more it about was, that. It, it's really not a big deal what happened. So I was basically, I was, I kept appearing before the same judge, and he kept saying, "If you don't stop saying." Things like objection, yeah. sustained, overruled. I'm going to hold you in contempt. And then I said, oh, he's going to say it. He's going to say it. I hold you in contempt. And I wanted him to say it. So like, I kept pushing him and kept pushing him and kept pushing him. And then mm-hmm. that escalated into I, I lost my license. I did. Yeah. That well, it's in, in what? Because lawyers never get to hear that. You're Unless what? they're being held in contempt. Right. And so it's, like, it seems like uh, not your fault like, trying to collect all the phrases. I, that's really what I was doing. I was, And he kept saying, like, you're saying the things that I say. Like, you will say objection and then you will say overruled immediately. Mm. And that's not how it works. Uh, Sounds I like did, he could use some spiritual guidance. I Well, maybe I should talk. I'll probably talk to him. Because that's because he's being selfish. He's wanting all those words for himself. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know? And I've learned from Dylan. Yes. Words are meant to be shared. Yeah. The only word is love. That's uh, you, you were telling me that's all I even need. Yes. It's, it's, oh, Shane, listen to this. Yeah. Tell me what you think of this. It's so, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling Dylan, I'm like, man, I, I just, uh, I got so much going on. I just, and he goes, he says, there's nothing you can do that can't be done. Man, right? What? I've like never thought of it like that. Right. I mean, incredible. Worth every penny. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All every penny, and don't just but, remember. Uh, and by the way, Dylan, I did. I found um like uh-huh. a little cashew jar full of change. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I can get that to you. Yeah. You. I mean, just you know where to leave it. Well, you. Uh, you'll have to. Dr- I think drive up and get it. I don't have a vehicle. Oh, anymore. right, 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 right. I'll, I'll come over my, my new carne asada. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So with, with everything going on, you know, there's a lot of changes happening. Obviously we, we, what, uh, what, what do you think's like going to be the next, uh, like move? I mean, are we, are you, are you still, pursuing uh any of your like current projects or are you have you gone i mean since you gave away all your uh possessions and mm-hmm. things uh i mean are we still gonna do that continue the podcast and uh and things or well that's interesting um i'm actually going into the studio tomorrow um but dylan has advised me not to release any more music Mm-mm, i wouldn't mm-hmm. It's for me. Uh, so I've got a couple songs that, uh, you know, Spencer played some drums for me. Um, 
and and I guess I'm just going to use the studio time uh, out there at Suburban Pro and record this stuff. And then I think we're just going to, what Dylan was saying, what would be, I think, the most cathartic, we we record it, we listen to it once, and then we look at the files and we just del- delete it. Yeah. We don't need it. Right. We've had the experience and that's what matters. Dylan says life is about experiences and that to want to profit from my art is devil talk or something like that. Mm, yeah. Uh, devil talk. Uh, 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 Satan speak. Satan speak. You... Devil talk. Uh, but Lucifer gab. Uh, 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 Hell chat. Legba language. Beelzebub. Babel. Babel. Yes. Yeah, he did. He said that all that to me. So, yeah, I mean, it's I, I don't know. I don't know uh, really what's going on. Dylan's in middle class fashion, so I don't really know what's going on. With that, we're supposed to be recording stuff. But uh, I think what we'll do in that situation is when we go to do I'll pick you up, obviously. Um, thank you. We'll, we'll go to the studio, but then like, what is it, uh? They got you got room for drums in that thing? Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And then I'll just take the drums home with me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think what, if if any money is made off of this, we just need to make sure that you don't take any of it. I just that you, that we just don't it take it. That we don't take it. That you don't take it. I'll give it to you, and then you'll. I'll do, I'll do what needs to be done with okay. it. Yeah. Cause I, and that's the thing I don't have, I'm not a spiritual advisor, I'm right. a spiritual dunce. I don't have the, mm-hmm. you need willpower, to be advised. Right. Willpower to not spend it on, you know, toxins. Right. And vaccines. Yeah. You were out there the other day buying eggs, milk, bread. Can you believe this guy? Toxins, all toxins. Uh-huh. He told mm-hmm. me, he said it's all toxins. So, uh, be on the lookout for yeah new MFB new new MCF. That the, I don't know if you'll ever hear it, but like look out for mm-hmm. it. Yeah, like what if like we drop it out of out of the car or something? Maybe you'll don't listen to it if you find it, or if, I guess you can listen to it. Don't pay us for it, and if you do, don't pay Matt. Please. The Please podcast don't. is probably going to take a tonal shift i would imagine yeah sure uh usually you know i think on on matt Matt f bosler's podcast we've had and me especially this nasty attitude mostly towards me yeah oh yeah 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 and i'm and i and i who was that guy (laughs) you know what i mean who even was that guy uh Shane, I I owe you everything. You know, you're you're you. What I thought was you being um, uh, an inconsiderate, uh, uh, m- uh mean, dumb, uh, shitty, shitty ass. You were actually teaching me the most valuable lesson I would ever learn. Give Dylan all my money. Yes, all your hugs and kisses too. Mm. Yeah. So I think I'm just I'm going to talk more about like like the the podcast is going to be focused more on uh we're going to get a lot of people selling like their new uh book on there about mm-hmm. how you can position your chakras and like how the people talking about retrogrades and stuff. Right. Yeah. I've only been doing this crystals and stuff. Uh, uh, 26 hours like I said, so I'm not an expert, but that'll be the fun of the podcast. We'll learn about it together. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. And some yep. faith healing. We might do some faith healing. Mm. Dylan nice. says that all of the religions are right. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as an incorrect religion. Dylan asked me, which this was crazy. He asked me to imagine that there were no religions. Yeah. And I was just like, he couldn't even do what? it. And I told him, dude, it's easy if you try. He said that. Well, well. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't even imagine. No, it's easy if you try. I, I, I guess I wasn't. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So what what happened when you imagined it? Oh, it's just kind of like, okay. Yeah, I guess. That, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, it really was, is pretty easy to, yeah, to imagine if you try. I, I, I was like, sure. I mean, it doesn't really ch- change that much. anything directly for me. Yeah. Um, I guess like maybe you wouldn't see as much like cross iconography. Right. Like, yeah. Holidays would get kind of weird. They'd be I mean, different. Holiday- They'd be, but maybe not. Maybe not that different. I mean, uh, I guess it wouldn't be called Christmas, but yeah. Right. Well, it's a, but then you're going back to pagan. So I guess does that count? And don't, you know what? Yeah. It's starting to get harder and harder. Yeah. What about Easter? Wouldn't have that. Yeah. And even then, right? You think, well, what about the eggs and the bunny? And I'm sure they come from something. Something, right? They Some just... kind of like, right. You know, these uh, witches would get together and and cram up. Halloween's got to be bunny gone. full of eggs. Halloween's, Halloween's done. out of here. Halloween's mm-hmm. done. Yeah, no. Uh, we could uh, Columbus Day. Mm. Keep on celebrating that guy. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, we got one. Yeah. And Arbor Day. Sure. Well, sure. one can. Uh, uh, environmentalism is a type of religion. So. That's what he told me. Oh, okay. Well, so it is correct. He he did say. I don't know why all religions are correct, but I also have to imagine that there there aren't any. Uh, yeah, it's kind of you know, if if everyone's religious, nobody is. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Shane. I'm sorry. I'm. Yeah. We we're getting off. I'm not even supposed to be talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget he's here. Forget he's here. He's just here to get, to give me guidance to to warm my aura. That's another thing, actually. Mm-hmm, he, mm-hmm. he said to me, he says, he says, Matt, how, how do you think? How do you think you're a good person? You know, and I'm like, yeah, I, I think so. He pulls up an Instagram post of mine about a month ago. Mm-hmm. It's my Spotify aura. Yeah, you should have <laughs> seen this thing absolutely terrible hmm. uh my aura was was loud spooky and it was like a red color <laughs> just terrible for the spirit right there. unbelievable right? unbelievable i couldn't i was i was like i posted i was proud of this right i showed him mine quiet peaceful and it was white yeah I only listen to white noise generators when I sleep on Spotify. So that I yeah, I'm not allowed to listen to music no more, but that's fine because yeah. I don't think that's I don't think that's good for my soul. He 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 says if I if I listen to the right stuff, I can make my aura horny. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try. Get it horny for next year's Spotify rap. See if I can get a horny aura. Yeah. It is a sex cult, I think, but that doesn't mean that there's not good parts. It's not a cult. I think it's important to realize that it's not a cult. I think it is. He keep he says that a lot. I do think that is maybe the biggest indicator. But I'm on the ground floor, man. So that's true. That's true. That feels pretty good. And like I said, I think maybe overall sex cults are bad, but also Imagine if they weren't. Yeah, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Just give it a freaking tr- shot. Give it a freaking shot. But but once again, I'm not here. Yeah, right. he's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Dylan's not even here. Let's just have a normal rock, paper, podcast interview like we always do. Yeah. Going around town, asking these things. <laughs> That's we'll let's get back to that. Sorry. Oh, all right. Uh, so, uh, other than, um, all that, that, what else did you, did you do anything exciting this weekend, Matt? Anything, uh, anything fun you want to talk about for the weekend? No, no, no. I went to go see a little film, uh, called scream. Oh, wow. 
I guess I did see that. That feels it's crazy that you, because like that feels so long ago. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's a different. I don't watch that kind of stuff anymore. Sure, I used to yeah. be really into horror movies and spooky and sp- I, was, I was into scaries. I was into spookies. Uh, Courtney, you know, Courtney, uh, sure. hot piece of ass I live with. Cans for days can that won't quit. Mm-hmm. She she really likes it. she I, she's not really into this whole path i'm taking right now but i'm really trying to get her on board yeah she'll come around dylan I says she'll, so. she'll come around or then he says or else and kind of shifts his eyes around or whatever but we're gonna make it happen it'll be fine you what'd you do you seen a movie though yeah I, I went to check it out and uh i enjoyed it i thought it was you know it was a good good spooky movie hmm. so do you think that Scream, the franchise, is the most consistent horror movie franchise out there. Uh, uh, in, in what sense? That uh, uh, quality. That the quality, if you were to average all of the movies together, I think I I personally think the Scream franchise would come out pretty heftily on top. Yeah. Of all other long running franchise horror films. How many needs to how many to, to be a long running franchise, do you think? Three at least. Th- okay. th- maybe maybe even four. You know what? I'll say four because you got to get past trilogies are kind of different yeah. than what well, Randy would tell you. Trilogies are different. Uh, playing trilogies are different than like sequ- just straight sequels or whatever. Okay. So, Friday the 13th? Nah, man. Nah, man. Now, I love Friday the 13th. I did. I used to love Friday the 13th. It's weird to talk about it now. Uh, but it gets, it's a goofy, it gets goofy. It gets, it gets, uh, cheesy, not, not maybe good, enjoyable to watch, but not like good films. Nightmare on Elm? I don't think so. That would be maybe my second. But six is maybe even not good. Five. Eh. One and three are good. Two I like, but a lot of people don't. Freddy's revenge, which he's not getting revenge, by the way. <laughs> it's not even the same people in the movie. Hellraiser. No. No. No, no, no. All those direct to, 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 to home video at the end, killing that thing, man. So anyway, I don't know. I just, that's something I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we went back and watched the original the other night just to kind of get uh, in, in the mood for the new scream and um, uh, still still holds up it's still fun so you know that's uh it's a lot of fun and as i felt like the same thing with the new one it was a lot of fun at the movies to uh be a part of it so me and uh my beautiful perfect lover courtney you know courtney we we watched through all of them we watched the whole series leading up to five and uh it was a lot of fun it's actually something i'm really gonna miss miss right. doing watching Horror movies, and no. I can actually but watch the movies I'm, with Courtney if she still wants to, though. Oh, okay. Well, okay, yeah. cool. Thanks. Yeah. No, we'll make sure she's taken care of. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll that's be right. okay. I'll be over there, I'll come over for movie night. Sure. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't. I guess it's me that can't handle it. Dylan says. So. Yeah. I just really used to used to like them a lot. There's a Halloween poster right here, man. I guess I'll take uh, it. Right Halloween. I, you can I, you can just give that to me. Right, and it's and I'm sorry I missed it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Halloween, uh, Halloween, you get, uh, Halloween's great. Halloween's top tier. Halloween two, it's not bad. I like it. It's you, you sideline. You, 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 you sideline in Jamie Lee through a lot of it, which was a problem I had with Halloween Kills. Now, but then Halloween three, different thing altogether. Uh, which I, you know, I do like Halloween three, four, five. 
you getting back H2O. We we'll bring it back up a little bit. I like H2O resurrection. Yuck. Get out of here. <laughs> I do enjoy resurrection though, but I'm just saying, I think is like actual entertaining, good, n- not, for the like campy level that I mean, scream is kind of campy, but like on purpose, you can't beat scream, man. You can't beat scream. Name a better horror movie franchise. Just straight through. Just good. Like good, good films. And gonna miss you talking. watched all the saw movies. I did uh, to be on real spoilers. I watched uh, all the saw movies in a, in a week. Wild Ride. I like yeah. watching those movies. They're fun. But they're not like good. Good. Yeah. All of them anyway. Right. Yeah. There's a, a lot like uh you know, I can I can look past quite a bit of the stuff. The fact that it's like, yeah, the cheese and whatever. But like if it's entertaining and a good time with the movies, then that's why I've my vote, you know, like, and that's kind of obviously with a, with a something like scream, you know, it was, it was meant to be like that on purpose. It was, you know, a lot of jokes about being in horror movies and stuff, obviously. So, uh, so one, it's not like a super great plots and, you know, award winning or any kind of thing like, but it's entertaining and it's a good time. So love them. Yep. I, I and I and don't get me wrong. I enjoy the cheese of a of a of a bad movie right. and the cheese of a of a burger. I used to. I, I'm not allowed to have dairy or meat anymore, but I used to enjoy cheese on a burger. But um, uh, I, yeah, I like that stuff. I I don't um, not en- enjoy a film like that. But but I think Scream is like objectively good. All also, so yeah, all of them. I'd say so. A lot of people don't like Scream Three, but I, uh, I disagree. I think they do like it. <laughs> I've only seen the one. Okay, Scream Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will miss it. I will miss watching horror movies. But yeah, you gotta let stuff go. He said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No possessions. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to bring up all these things from your 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 past life. Now it's hey hey, that's fine. That's fine. So I, I give me what another another twelve twenty four hours of this, and I'll, I'll you know. Like I can't even believe I was I ever watched those nasty old things. That's the, that's kind of that's my goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you get to watch? Uh, okay. Nothing. Dylan, I, what? Uh, it's it's mostly just going to be like um, videos of, made by me. Mostly just it's just me talking to you. He basically, sent, he sent over a play like a YouTube a private YouTube yeah. playlist. That's going to be pretty much it. And it's long. I, I watched some of it. I mm-hmm. uh, I kind of skipped around. Um, and that's fine. There's really no narrative to these videos. I'm just sort of talking at you. I mean, it's all good information. Mm-hmm. But you can really you can go around. And did you and I'm sorry. And this, I meant to text you about this. Uh-huh. Uh, um, but you told me I'm not I can only I, you just give me a very small window to use my phone. Uh, what, it, did you mean to turn the camera off? It times or was I made was I meant to see all of it? Oh no, it's all supposed to be there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? I guess the part where you're watching Seinfeld and masturbating. Yeah. And you got the there's a meatball, it looks like meatball sandwich. It's the episode where they're stuck in the parking garage. Well, that's where it starts. It seems like maybe you're watching it on TV. It's going through episodes and you're just sort of like. Kind of just like, yeah, it's kind of an example of what doesn't seem like you're in any kind of hurry. (laughs) 
And, <laughs> and I guess maybe is that some sort of metaphor? Like it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Oh, Same with that I'm... sandwich. You are nursing that thing. By the time we're on to Facility Jerry, I'm thinking that thing got to be ice cold, but you're still kind of nibbling, licking on it. It was out of the fridge to begin with. The point is that, yeah, no, I mean, part of it is, is yeah, there's, there, it's laced with metaphors, but also, you know, um, it's an example of like things you shouldn't be doing. Wild. Wild. That is there's crazy. A, there, there's a lot there. Yeah, yeah. Like, do not eat the meatball sandwiches. Do not watch Seinfeld. Do not masturbate. But um, enjoy the journey. But enjoy the journey of whatever you might yeah. be doing. Right? My, right? my journey didn't even have a destination. I was just... Yeah, that's uh, right. That, that was... Because uh, as far as I could tell, mm-hmm. uh, and like I said, I did do some skipping around, but the sandwich never got eaten and you never got finished whatever yeah no that's um yeah it it, it, that was more just of an example is Um, this what you meant by penny lane is in your ears and in your eyes uh i no this is more of because that's one I've been trying to unlock. He he he, tell, he tells me that we're just kind of like sitting there doing doing a a, 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 st- a staring exercise, and he goes, he just says, "Penny Lane is in your ears and in your eyes." And I've been thinking about that ever since, man. Yeah, that that one I I don't think you're ready for that one yet. Um, hmm. this was more of like. sort of like a pornographic priestess type thing. Oh. Remember when I said crab like a fish wife pornographic priestess? Yeah, I do. Yeah, of course. How could I forget that? This is sort of more like wow, that. Wow, yeah, okay. Uh, if you if you go later in that video and you keep watching, you'll get to the goo goo goo. Oh. So the goo does come. <laughs> it does. Shane, is this what you want? Is this we're doing this right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, shit. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. He's not here. He's not here. He's just here to if I if I slip, if I fall, he'll step in and tell me. Right. I'm doing it wrong. So. Right. <clears throat> but, you, you know. Um, and and uh, I, I relate to do i mean who doesn't get horned up here in that theme song you know oh yeah right. yeah gets me gets me going What's every time the deal? oh watch yourself why is it called up. a sweater you don't sweat you don't turn that's pretty good man you know? that is pretty good Hey, Ted, I can still do my impressions. Yeah, that's fine. No harm, no foul for now. Shane, right. were, you, were you going around asking some questions or anything? Uh, No, not really. Oh, okay, okay, well, okay, that's okay, fine. okay. That's and fine. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just my favorite part. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I've favorite part of when I've been on here. Of course, I don't listen to the show. Sure. Um. I mean, if you want me to ask you some questions, I guess I could. It's whatever you want, man. It's your show. It's your show. I, I, I'm i done being that guy. I'm done trying to steer everybody else's ship. Yeah. You know, no man's uh, a ship is an island. No man's no man's island gets hit by a ship. Sure. All right. Uh, and I ship Seinfeld in a lane. So what 90s sitcom do you masturbate to? Uh, I'm actually not allowed to uh, touch my pecker in any kind of way. Okay. Anymore, even for bathroom purposes, I just have to make it work. You know. Um. Mm-hmm. In my past life, is that do you? I mean, is that even worth discuss? Dylan, am I allowed to discuss my past life? I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> 
Hey, I remember that guy. <laughs> Two guys, a girl at a pizza place. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh, classic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very classic. Extremely classic. <laughs> and there's a girl on it. Yep. At least one, one of my one of my favorite things to be horny to is a as a woman. And pizza. To be horny to a woman. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait. Yeah. Well, I get horny to a woman. It's one of my favorite <laughs> things to get horny to. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Get horny to a woman. Yeah. I just don't know if I like those words in that order. Okay. Horny t- to woman, I get <laughs> like 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 Yoda. Like yeah, I mean, I do love a Star Wars, so that's that's good. Right. That's what you 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 told me. You said, "Oh, I'm kind of like Yoda," when you were explaining this to me, and yeah, he went the part where he said, "Look, remember Luke crashed on Dagobah, and then he gave Yoda all his money." Yeah. And I'm like Yoda in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I needed your help to get to the reference when when we were exploring because you said, "Oh, is this? Are you like Yoda?" Because and I said, "Yes, absolutely." I've never seen the movies. Sure, you should check them out since you're allowed. <laughs> Maybe I will. Yeah, got the money for Disney Plus now, so. Got the means. Well, really, I mean, Ryan Reynolds' role, you know. Two guys, not Star Wars. Two guys, a girl. And a oh yeah, it's early Ryan Reynolds. Get horned up about it? Did he's, you? I think he's a handsome guy. Okay. I at the time was not comfortable enough to to say what was going on. Maybe someday I will be. Maybe with your guidance, I'll be able to say comfortably all the things that make me horny well we're gonna get into that heavily in the next level so right excellent excellent i mean we're only like 26 and a half hours into this thing so Mm -hmm. yeah it's been intense right drove down there sat across from him Mm -hmm. drove back up here sold my van drove back up gave me the money yeah what else is going on? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. A lot going on. Oh, when you said I don't know, I thought that meant not much. But now it sounds like I don't know, too many things to count. Right. Right. Way too many things. Uh, yeah. 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 Did you know today is Betty White's uh, 100th birthday? Yeah. That would have been It's pretty wild. Would have been what? Yeah. Huh? Would have been what? It would have been cool to talk to her. Oh. And meet her. her. Today? I don't think so. I would not yeah. like to meet Betty White today. I mean, just in, you know, in a past life when you were able to, you know, meet people and talk to them. She's dead. But yeah. I and you want to that. meet her today? Well, uh, any other day. Shame. Any other day? Right. I personally, maybe I'm a square. I would have liked to have met her when she was alive. That would have been cool too. And and you know what? And I'll go ahead and say maybe six months to a year before she died. Yeah. I don't know what the situation was, but I don't want to be like she's on her deathbed and i'm walking in and going oh my god hey, whoa love... betty white oh man you got a friend in me right from the show sign this but if that's your thing man maybe you need some spiritual guidance i think yeah. i do you can i'll 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 uh i'll send you a telegram thank you um okay matt i found yeah. some uh some questions for you oh, great 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 uh 
are you into podcast or do you only listen to music? Whew, wow. Uh, if I guess if my spiritual guide, my spiritual advisor, Dylan, were to put out a podcast, I would listen to that. Yes. Sure. And that's coming. So I don't think I consume media in the same way that I used to. Um, so I'm going to say no. Okay. Good answer. Thank you. Uh, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, I can't, there is, I can only eat one food for the rest of my life. Um, Dylan would be happy to explain it. It's hot so, dogs. <laughs> so hot dogs are not only nutritionally complete they're it's all complete. you need it's all you need they're a spiritually complete food they feed all of your all all of the different spiritual centers in your body you you can be a a, a whole you're a whole when you eat hot dogs the ca- like the casing is unbroken you see yeah and that's what you which need is also to- how you have to eat them you yeah unbroken. i'm not I'm you not gotta, allowed to break the casing. You got to suck them down. Yeah. There's no bun or anything like that. No, you just kind of like. <laughs> so the way he, so he like made a hot dog. He put, he put it in a bun. He put ketchup and mustard on it. And he starts going like, you're the hot dog. And right now you, this is you're you're wrapped in this, this protective what you what you view as a protective coating, but what it's doing is keeping you from experiencing all things you need to experience. Yeah, it says some about body thetans. Um, all religions are correct. It's a Scientology thing. Uh, yeah. And then he was like, and this, so he takes it out of the bun, right? So that's just this like sloppy ketchup and mustard dog. And then he's like, and, and he's like, do you see this ketchup and mustard? And I'm like, yum, yeah. He's like, would you want ketchup and mustard all over your your body, all over your spirit? And like, think about that. Like, would you want ketchup on your spirit? No. So he he puts the whole hot dog in his mouth and just pulls it out clean. He pulls it right back out clean. Like when a maybe like when a cartoon eats a turkey bone or leg or something, you know, they put put it in, pull it out clean. And then he goes, this is this is what will sustain you. This is what will sustain your spirit. And in the end, the love you make is equal to the love you take. And then I slurp that thing down. And this was only 26 hours ago. So, like, he's doing fine. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I've eaten nine hot dogs since yeah. then, inc- including that one. Nine. There's going to be an adjustment period. Yes. Are, you, are you able to? suck on chili dogs or is it strictly no, just hot no, dog? no, no, just no, naked no. dogs i can yeah, dunk them in on water. naked dogs yeah and yeah you can dunk them in water like kobayashi but not the bun there's right. no bun i can i could just dump the dog in water or mr pib i think it's just pib now i know i have to find old cans oh yeah no it's got to have the dude's little drawing face on yeah it. no pib no pib extra nothing like that it's got to be mr pib um and that's that just w- if he wants to dunk it in something that isn't water so yeah. a lot of- i cannot mm-hmm. drink it i can dunk it he said that he told me that dr pepper is too pretentious we should get rid of labels you know i don't call him sensei master or anything like that mm-hmm. you know he says that's something we have to a shoe from our lives and 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 that um but then pib is too familiar you know that's like then we're not we're not elevating ourselves properly so he says mr pib is the way to to yes. do it so hmm. man also a dr chest if you can find it but that's just because i think it tastes good he likes it's cheaper yeah and i have no money. I'm learning so much about this. 
Same, man. Same. And I'm sure I'm sure this was all this will all be on Dylan's podcast coming soon. Yeah, but it's it's on my own personal network, so right. it, it's you're, it's going to be hard to come by. Sure, I'll have to keep an eye out for that too. I'll I'll send you an I'll, I'll send you a telegram. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Matt, uh, yeah, if you if you could be in an an exotic animal, or if you could have an an exotic animal, not be one. I can't read today as a pet, which would it be? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I've actually, you know, my dogs. Well, and I'm so sorry. And I hate to speak like that. I'm not supposed to say my, I'm not supposed to own a creature. I have no power over other beings and I cannot own them. So Duke and Edith, I let them free today. Um, they're, it's like get the in Aladdin, you know, he sets the genie free and I've mm. set Duke and Edith uh, free and they're just out there roaming St. Louis somewhere. And I it's good uh, for them. It's I couldn't be happier. They're they're, they're going to they're enlightened spiritually now. They're uh, they're more in tune with the world and their surroundings. Well, this is yeah, good for them. I removed their the the, you know, metaphorical shackle, the collars. They took their collars off. Mm hmm. So they weren't like bound by man, but it'd be cool to have a monkey, I guess. Would be cool. Dylan, Dylan's telling me that monkeys are the most truthful animal in a sense. Everybody yeah. has something to hide except Dylan and his monkey. Me and my monkey. He's so smart, man. Yeah. Well, I, and he wants a monkey because I do have one. I've never seen the thing, but he claims to have it. And, I, and that makes me want one. I want to be. Just and be I'll show like it to him because going. as I told him mere seconds before, I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Sure. And then he said a, a bunch of opposites. So come on. Yeah. Take it easy. Yep. Uh, what is the best gift you've ever received? I mean, besides this gift that, uh, okay. Cause Dylan's, I Dylan's, mean, Dylan's, yeah, obviously, yes, obviously best gift I've ever received. I think it was when we were going to do a podcast and you slept through it. Sure. Cause that's how I got here. Yeah. And, and, you know, people say, people, people say, well, would you change anything about, about your life? And there's things that I don't like that happened in my life, but all of them have been steps along the journey to get here. And I think Dylan must have known that because Shane, did you know Dylan fell asleep days I, after? I had heard about this. Yeah. So it's almost like you guys are like teaming up in a cosmic way to teach me the lessons I need to learn because mm -hmm. the, the anger in me just rose up. Sure. Well, you're pissing and shitting mm -hmm. oh, yeah. rose up, rose out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I had, the rose came out because I prolapsed my anus from shitting so much, <laughs> <laughs> but you appreciate what we've done because yes, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. But and my parents uh, did. They bought me a jazz master once. That's cool. That's sick, man. Which one? The blue. One. That's cool. Yeah. You can't keep it anymore, but I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. I'm, I, I, yeah. You'll know what to do with it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the first time prolapsed anus has been talked about on this show. So. That can't be true. <laughs> Mm. I've been on a few times. Matt's yeah. been on a few times. It's definitely Steve come Ewing up. was on here. Yeah. Oh right? yeah. We did. We did talk about his anus on there. I would assume because yeah, because he would have talked about hot dogs, right? Yeah. Sure. We talked about hot dogs, right? So that only makes sense. Yeah. You're right. Ali Vogler didn't talk about prolapse anuses. I should probably listen I to my own show more often. Can't imagine well you i mean it's easy to forget 
So if someone said to me, like, man, on your podcast, have you, have, have, you, have you ever talked about graham crackers? I'd be like, I don't think so. But maybe you go back. Maybe we did a whole show about it. I, you know, I don't know. Who knows? Sure. Probably. Yeah, it happens, man. You get on a graham cracker tangent. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Dude All made graham crackers as a square. That's a joke? No. Oh, I guess it is a joke, but like the dude sucked. What are you talking about? The guy who invented graham crackers, he was uh uh oh, what was his name? Well, his name was Sylvester Graham. That's right. And he was like he was, was, he was a big, seven weenie. He was a big temperance guy and the all you know, eat eat graham flour, graham bread, graham crackers. I don't know. He was just like a like a little, little pussy ass bitch. Like a kind of like a Kellogg thing. I think it was kind of like a Kellogg thing. I don't know if it was the exact same reason, but it seems because you you you've got me eating well only hot dogs, but right. I'm right. supposed to take a bath in uh, cornflakes just so I, I won't masturbate. Yeah, but, we, uh, but I actually don't want him buying Kellogg's products at the moment because. I'm pro union, but uh, I've got just warehouses full of them, so I'm just letting mm-hmm. him bathe in them, hoping that it gets there because I've been stockpiling them for a long time. Now, uh, is Matt your only client currently, or do you, are you spiritual advisor for for other people? Um, uh, Matt's my first client. I've been a spiritual advisor for 56 hours now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt's my first client, but, uh, we're, I, I'm going to try to, to recruit, get a lot of other people to do it. And I think it's, I think it can be a real, I think it can be a real good thing for me and everybody else. I was his only uh, client as a lawyer, too. That's true. That's true. When he was telling those judges that he wasn't part of the trial he wasn't supposed to yeah i was just i was sitting in back right screen yelling screaming that out so yeah it's it's cool to be yelling scream three was the best one (laughs) i was talking about that it's the only one i've seen though right do you do you think if you went to the theater and went uh yeah i need one ticket for ah they would know (laughs) what you they would like get it i bet they'd get it or do you well, think do you think if you if you walked up to the counter and you said, uh, scream, please, that the guy selling tickets would go, ah. Do you think that? Or maybe, hey, can I get one ticket for scream? Ah, a ticket for what? Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. Shane, do you think that? I think that, yeah. Cool, me too. Or 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 maybe back in the day, you know, say, uh, yeah, I need to get a a ticket for Scream 2. Ah! Ah! Like that. And then yeah. a, a ticket for what? Scream 2. Ah! Ah! Do you think that? Maybe. I want I want to believe it. Yeah. It's the world I want to live in. Hmm. Huh. That's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, so, be, Dylan well, tells me not place. To, he says, don't carry the world upon your shoulders. Mm-mm. Do you think uh, calls back me in the day somebody said, uh, hey, can I have a ticket to a quiet place? And they would say libraries across the street. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's free, man. You don't, you don't freaking need no ticket. Probably. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's funny, man. <laughs> can I get a ticket for a casino? This is a movie theater. Something like that. Yeah. That's that's a pretty old reference. But like, hey, can I get a ticket to a scary movie? Yes. Which yeah, which which one? <laughs> Do you think that? Maybe. Uh, probably. When I was watching uh Scream uh one, uh when I I I had a real hard time not laughing, thinking about the scary movie. 
parody of it. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ghostface is an absolute klutz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all over the place. That's just true. All right. Old Stu and Billy, they're they, they have trouble standing keeping keeping up on their on their feet when they're killing. Yep. Stu and Billy. Spoilers for Scream One. Yeah. What's that twenty five years old now? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh it is, yeah. It's an old it's an old movie. But uh hey, you know what else I will say about Scream too? I think it's Wait. Aged. what? Scream two. Sorry. You know what I will say about Scream also? Okay. Mm-hmm. It's aged very well. Yeah, I saw it for the first time like this year. So it is funny that I was like, you can spoil it. People have seen it, but I hadn't seen it until yeah. this year. If you didn't know, if you if I if you if you went in knowing that it was Stu and Billy, you'd be freaking throwing a fit at me. I went to watch um, Evil Dead a little while back. It was the uh, 40th anniversary, uh, and they had a uh, limited screening thing in the theaters again. And me and my buddy went to go watch it. And uh, he, it was like a Q&A thing with uh, Bruce Campbell before the movie. And Bruce was talking about the film and he was talking about like it was a part where the tree like raped a girl sure. and and he's like sorry spoiler alert if anybody hasn't watched it and um i actually hadn't watched it so it was a spoiler <laughs> so it kind of uh i was disappointed in bruce uh spoiling the movie yeah, for me that's messed I'm up i yeah. have anybody spoil evil dead for me i'd rather be i want it to be bruce right i mean i, I Oh, know, I'm so, so sorry. It only took me 40 years, but I, I, you know, I finally got to watch it. I went to, um, I think it was the Man with the Screaming Brain, right? Bruce Campbell film, and he was there. And they Bruce did a was, Q- yeah. They did a Q and A, and I, Spencer was with me. I lean over to Spencer. I say, I, I have a dumb. I've had this dumb question. Isn't that dumb? And he's like ask it and i'm like no 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 he's like yeah ask it so i raise my little hand and i say yes bruce you know in evil dead you you lose your hand right it's like yeah and then they fashion the chainsaw to to fit on your hand sure okay there's evil dead too right and uh i was like so they they go through the trouble of th- there's two hooks on his belt that the the pull ch- chain uh, or whatever on the on the uh, chainsaw fits into it's like two prongs that'll hold it and then mm-hmm. he can just pull the chainsaw and that pulls the cord right okay and i was like so they thought of that they went through the trouble but how does he depress the trigger to make the chain go <laughs> And he said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and seemed annoyed. So, And that's the only time you've ever talked to him? Mm-hmm. That was my interaction with Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a dumb question. I didn't want to ask it. Spencer said to do it. So. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So now I think it's a bad movie. Unrealistic. Yeah. Right. So. Other than that, the movie was very. Everything very else re- is explained. It had two little prongs for him to pull the, the chain. Yep. So. Well, uh, I think that's. Uh, I think we covered about everything. Oh, okay. Prolapse stasis. Yeah. Hot dogs. Oh, instead of saying your ass is grass, I'm going to say your ass is laughs. I feel I feel so much better now that this like weight of this silly feud has been been lifted. I mean, we we got this rescheduled and we are we're now uh Oh, that's 
maybe there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I, the feud just continuing. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if I said something earlier. The Dillard said it's important for me to maintain one intense yes. feud. Ah. You you have to know hate. To we know decided love. this is the one. And this has been the best one for me. Uh huh. Um, you know, it is so. a good one. So yeah. Uh, um, so let's see. Uh, let's see here. Um, he, he t- what Dylan? The way Dylan explained it to me, he said, and it's kind of it's like a parable or a riddle or something. He said, she was just seventeen if you know what I mean. And the way she looked was way beyond compare. Yeah. And I, and I'm still trying to like figure it out, but like, I think I, I broad strokes. I think I get it. I have to maintain this feud. Yes. You know, it's from that Beatles song. <laughs> <laughs> And, w- and which one was that one? The first uh, one. First one. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, well, I guess I'll see you when the, the feud continues. Yeah, man. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um can't wait <coughs> to see where it goes from here. Just, just a little hot dog coming up. Yeah, it's, I swallow them whole. It's, they, they were, they really, they'll sit in there like vertical for a while. Yep. Yeah, you'd yeah. be talking, get a little hot, hot dog coming up, coming up to say hi. You know. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you guys for doing this today. Absolutely, thank, thank you, you for uh, enlightening me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can't wait to not hear those new songs. Yeah, so that'll be great. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's going to be good. Seems like a waste of time almost, but I'll figure it out eventually. Or we're going to make it. It'll be fine. Did you want to ask if I have anything to, to plug at the end here? Sure. Yeah, Matt. Do you have anything no. to plug here? No, no, no. I don't okay, do great. that anymore. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Rock, paper, podcast. Rock, paper, podcast. Rock, paper, podcast. Rock, paper, podcast. Well, yeah, that was it.